were completed. One on Main Street in Walsingham. There was no problem identified and no focus patrol initiated. On the 26th of September 2017 on Nelson Street in Port Dover, which I mentioned earlier, we did identify a problem that focus patrol was initiated as a result. On the 4th of October in 2017, Pine Grove Road in Delhi, which I spoke to earlier, we did identify a problem and a focus patrol was initiated. And again, on Swimming Pool Road in Delhi, a problem was identified and a focus patrol was initiated. Moving on to 911 calls. For the month of September, we had 186 calls. We are down over last month, down compared to last year, and we are projecting down by year end. With respect to alarms, we had 32 in the month of September. We are down over last month and down compared to last year. Can uh, we go back to the 911 calls? Are you finding that the technology on the new phones is better at not getting pocket dial 911 calls? I'm unable to say for sure that that's the reason or if it's education. Okay, thank you. With respect to foot patrol, we recorded 314.5 hours. We are down over last year. Bicycle patrol, we recorded 10.5 hours in the month of September. For school visits, we have 22 in the month of September. With respect to driving charges for the month of July, they were not available due to uh, an issue with ICON. With respect to driver license suspensions and ride statistics, for the month of September, we saw three roadside screening device administrations, five administrative driver license suspensions, two three-day suspensions, We had 29 ride events and 15 seatbelt ride events. And subject to any questions, that is the end of our report. Questions for the inspector on his report. You, Mr. Chair, I presume the, uh, to the inspector, you'll be starting to gear up for the uh, Christmas because the Christmas parties all start now, so I presume you'll be planning all your ride check programs for the uh, rest of the year? Yes, that's correct. You may. Yes, I can answer that question. We've actually uh, already begun our uh, ride checks, uh, started those uh, late September and we'll run those right through till after the new year. I wanted to catch the uh, Norfolk County Fair as well as Halloween coming up. Other questions for the inspector on his report? And I, I, Inspector, I just wanted to clarify that on page 55 of your report, it has domestic disturbances and it was the numbers presented there, if they are reconcilable to page seven of our billing statement, page seven of 30, uh, because we divide it out into domestic criminal and no charges. So if there is an easy way of reconciling that, uh, that's what I was interested in. So that would be just one more question in our, with respect to our billing statement. Okay, thank you. Other questions for the inspector? <clears throat> 
Seeing none, if I could have a motion to adopt his report as information. Moved by Jim, seconded by Dave Douglas. All in favor? Uh, other business? Jim? Uh, Mr. Chairman, the only item I want to bring up under other business is Friday the 13th, which we know happened a couple of weeks ago, and um, <clears throat> it, was, it turned out to be a huge event. I don't know whether staff are going to report on it proactively, but I had the opportunity to go down in the afternoon of Friday the 13th and visit uh, the OPP Command Center, and staff were very willing to show me around a little bit, and I, I just would like to congratulate our detachment staff on a very, very well-run Friday the 13th event from all reports that I've seen and heard, both as a councillor, a member of this board, and a participant. So thank you to staff. It was, it was a good get day. Yes, if I could just uh, I'll summarize it. Uh, we had approximately 110,000 people. Uh, the morning started out a little slow, uh, but by 10.30 uh, we had the usual crowd roll in, um, stayed till about 4 o'clock and then uh, left orderly. Uh, we had no major incidents, uh, a few collisions, um, no serious injuries luckily. Um, overall calls for service that day in Dover were very low, which is good. And uh, we're planning for next year. I would like to uh, second Jim's comments. I had the same uh, tour in the morning. Uh, really impressed with the efficiency that you guys run that operation. When you take anywhere from 80 to 150,000 people in a town of 6,000, um, you feel when you see how well you run that operation, you can't help feel but safe. So thank you very much for your how you run that operation. And thank you for your comments, and I'd just like to point out that uh, the efficiency is due to the well organization of acting staff, Angela Ferguson. She took the lead on the planning of this event, and she did a fantastic job. Um, so I'd just like to personally say thank you to her. And she's taking the lead on our, our next year's events on April and July. So I'm sure they'll be run just as efficiently. No pressure. <laughs> Other business? Gentlemen, do you have anything for us? No, we're good, Mr. Chair. Okay, thank you. If we could move on to question period. Any questions from members of the public? Seeing none, if we could have a motion to move to closed session. Moved by Dave Murphy, seconded by Dave Douglas. All in favor? Thank you.